Hello! So we've continued joisting on this build. So obviously you see us put this small section in. Um, should be able to show you a time lapse of that. And then what I've been able to do is I've cracked on this morning, me and Jamie, and um, basically we've got all of these joists in now at 300 centers all the way up to the end. I've left the last one out deliberately just because the plumber needs to access it to convert the three inch soil to a four inch because that is gonna feed our bathroom that's in this area here. So just to give them a bit more access, we've deliberately left the last joist out. Um, but what you can see here is we've got these joists spanning just shy of five meters, um, 300 centers, we've solid nogged um, both sides so I think the longest spans about um, 1.8 1.9 of um, noggin so it just gets it nice and solid um, you'll see here we haven't put the timber along the top yet so we will do that but the reason being because the steel is quite far out we would struggle to get the the hilti gun or the spit gun directly on it so when we're building the dormer we'll slot that in and basically because the roof or the the, um, the tiles above won't be there we'll be able to get it nice and straight and fire it down but we have done it on this side. So you see where we continued with the, the dwarf wall last night um, or yesterday. Um, basically now that's in. But what we've just agreed with Jamie is I think we're gonna get prepped to put some of this ridge beam up. Um, so we're gonna get in some of the joists that are left for that side. We're gonna put them down the middle to give us a nice like little runway to work on. And basically we're just gonna tidy up these cuts now, get the ridge beam put up in place. Um, and then what that allows us to do is we can then put the, um, the back ceiling collars in all the way along which will then allow us to remove this back section as well so we can get it all cut out and ready. Um, but yeah, let's go. So we now have two thirds of the ridge beam up. Just crack that radio off. Don't want no copyright claims, do we, Jay? So um, I've just had Darren pop in as well, so help me and Jay lift up this beam. So if you can imagine what we've got here is a timber post um, that then sits down onto a bearing plate that underneath that is the the brick or uh, the block work so like what we've done for the the, um, the main steel so we've got that so that's going to be our new post so this is the height that I want it finished at at the moment she's not level but what Jamie's just about to do is start winding this acro up so then we can get this ridge beam nice and level because then that will allow us to build the dormer easier because we can notch our joists in nice and straightforward um, but once we've got this level, what I'm then gonna do is put these ceiling collars in the back section here, um, because then effectively this front roof is then braced. So that allows us to then cut all these trusses out, give us a lot more space. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get this ridge beam leveled now. Um, here's a little time lapse of us just putting it up, working um, as a team, putting it up. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll come back in a sec when we start on these little sections. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is So this is what I was talking about So these are the little ceiling collars that we put in So we notch them in the steel They sit in We take off a small chamfer at the back Just because if you can imagine in the web of the steel um, Basically so they sit nice and flat and then what we're now gonna do is basically use that same angle, but just cut a square bit and slot it up in between, um, just so that we can make that nice and solid. But also I can pick up a fixing in there and there and just stop that from floating around basically so that it just doesn't float in midair. We will later add noggins at the back um, and then fire those through, but I'll only do that once the dormer roof is on um, because the nails will knock out the timbers the other side basically. Um, but yeah, so we're going to cut these bits of 4x2 in now. What a lot of people don't show you is the worst bit of a loft conversion, this crap. So the insulation, so what you'll see here is we had a massive pile of it there. So now what we've done is obviously now we've got the joists in, we've started spreading it out around um, and into the area. I appreciate some of the first fix electrics and plumbing may need to pull some of it out, but we're just getting it out of the way just so then we can convert that other section over there. But it's horrendous, especially on a warm day like today, it just sticks to your skin. Um, but yeah, next section, that end. 